So I've been looking for something to put in this part of my layout. I uh, had the idea of a ruin, you know, some kind of old ruin or something, which would look quite nice, you know, I think, just you know, coming down the road here and having a, an old ruined castle or something in here. Uh, and I saw this on eBay. It is a Scottish tower house, and I just thought that's perfect. And it is a double O gauge Scottish tower house. Um, I actually thought it was a kit. It's not, it's just a pre-moulded plastic uh, model of a Scottish tower house. The roof comes off. So I'm going to paint it up um, and set it in place here and then I'll do the landscaping because I think um, when I sort of add flock and stuff in here it'll look better if it's actually, you know, some of the flocks coming up the walls a little bit. So uh, we'll paint it up and set it in place. So I'm going to prime this up um, using Tamiya Primer. And then once that's dry, we'll do some more detailed painting. Uh, we'll do the roof separately. Okay, so that's them primed. Um, I didn't film that because it's done in my airbrushing booth and it's a bit uh, noisy and smelly and horrible to do. So just, you know, did that off camera. But it is just giving, giving it a good scoosh with the Tamiya primer. And uh, it's actually quite a good colour, actually, the, the primer for this. But no. We're going to do, do more. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move the tower house out of the way. And the first thing I'm going to do is paint this black. Okay, I'm using acrylic paint in my airbrush here. I'm not doing this in my airbrushing booth. I probably should, but it's only acrylic paint. It's fairly harmless. Uh, so I'm going to just give this a quick coat of black. See it's very thin, it's fine. Just do it a couple of times. Okay, that's that. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to give it a coat of uh, quite some sort of pale grey acrylic. It's not that much different than the undercoat actually, but uh, I need to get this on. Get into all the nooks and crannies. I mean, this really is almost a, a, an identical colour to, to the, the undercoat, but uh, it's getting into the stonework more because it's a finer spray. Okay, so I've done a bit of mixing to get a sort of stone-ish colour, um, and I just did a wee quick test on it just to to see how it would look. I think that's kind of. Yeah, it's maybe a little bit darker than I intended, but I think I'll do just now for, for what I want to do. Uh, so I'm just going to use quite a big brush and we shall uh, just continue just dry brushing this on. I mean, these uh, tower houses were always built from uh, local stone. So Round about here, where I live, there's a lot of uh, red sandstone, so the tower houses tend to be sort of a very red, very brown colour. But in other places, they can be, you know, kind of dark grey, just like just like what I'm doing here. This is actually working well because the the paint I'm putting on is quite thin, so it's quite um, almost translucent. It's allowing the the grey underneath to, to come through a little. Um, which gives you know the, the stones a little bit of detail and texture it's not like they're just you know a flat color so it's actually working really well okay so that's had it's uh it's primer a, a gray undercoat and that's the stones detailed so let that dry and we'll do the roof. Yeah, that's getting it. It's just I want I didn't want it all you know just a flat colour. I want a bit of variation in the shading of the slates. One thing I'm going to do is the top of the roof would probably be lead flashing so I'm going to do that a slightly different 
shade of grey, a much paler shade. Okay, and there's my roof painted. Got my light flashing on the top and uh, the slates. What I think I'll maybe do is add a few wee touches of green because these old roofs always had some moss in them. So I'm just very lightly dry brushing a little bit of green in places. There. Okay, that's my roof done. I'm just going to paint the door and the windows black just now. Just give them a thin coat of black paint. And then I shall dry brush in some detail. And there are these wonderful windows, which it's hard to tell if they're shuttered or it's old window panes or what. Okay, I'm going over the door with a thin paint of a sort of pale brown. I just want this to just look like an old door, I suppose. What else would I want it to look like? It's looking not too bad. And while I'm out with this colour, Let's just see if it works well if dry painted on some of these stones just to yeah, just to give a bit of variety in the in the colour. I think it's quite good to use this to um just highlight the, the lintel stones just a little bit. That's maybe too much. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit of green. Because these things would have moss growing up to them, especially from the bottom. And up this, just up the corners, just kind of like that. Okay. I think that's probably going to do it. So. Let's pop the roof on. my little Scottish tower house. Let's go and stick it on the layout. So there we go, there's my little Scottish tower house. Um, I'm quite pleased with that. That's quite cool. So um, I need to do a bit of landscaping here. I want to do a bit, get some plaster in here to bridge across here. Um, I'm going to have a bash at maybe making a pond in there. Not totally decided about that yet. And all this needs to get flopped up and this is going to be some kind of track coming onto the road. And um, other than that, I've got to go on with landscaping up here. And I'm going to be adding in some walls and fences. Okay, folks. See you later.